Hi guys, um, today I'm actually gonna do a video and show you like um, what is my toiletry cupboard, my makeup, etc. But I'm actually gonna do it in sections because I've got really too much stuff and I will actually take this opportunity to actually clean out my cupboard and this is how my cupboard looks like. It's actually very deep and it's dark inside and it's actually good to actually store my makeup, etc. But one thing to take note is that it can actually get... Um, I'm not too sure, is it moody or is it like dusty? Because I tend to have a lot of dust even though I clean them on a weekly basis. But um, they're just dust inside and I'm not too sure why. But um, I will actually get some dehumidifier and place it inside so that you know it doesn't get too humid inside. Because it doesn't have sunlight. Sunlight doesn't touch us that side. So just let me go through. Basically, um, toiletry wise, I've got four baskets of items that I actually store them inside um, the cupboard itself so that it's easier for me to take out if I want to clean the whole thing instead of obviously so many you know items inside the basket itself and want to take them out one by one it's gonna be very very long and um, just let me go through with you okay first of all this basket is full of um, facial products the one at the back um, it actually used to contain all my perfumes and some of my sprays and my after sun aloe vera gel and my sunscreen etc but i'm actually gonna move the items over here this is where all the toiletry stuff should be the you know the shampoos etc and then behind would be my um hair products all right so just go through the stuff but just take note that this is actually going to be a very long video because i've got tons and you know lots of stuff in my cupboard all right Recently, you're aware that I actually went to stock up on my Hada Labo, alright? So, I've got, um, actually I got four bottles. Another one is inside the other cupboard there. That is, uh, actually where I usually do my usual morning routine. And I've got my Garnier Light Complete Multi Action Widening Cream. I only managed to get this in two packs. When I tried to go back and look for more, I couldn't actually get any of those. I got two random cute pens. Just in case I need to write something. Then I got my Fancal washing powder. Alright, this is still brand new. I haven't actually opened it. Um, I do not know why I actually bought this. Pure Unmet anti regreasing Moisturizing Gel. I think maybe I can just pass it to my boyfriend. Because his, his skin is like... He refuses to put on any moisturizer. And it actually irritates the hell out of me. But his skin is very, very dry. And I've got this... Uh, Nivea Versace Aqua Sensation Anti Shadow Eye Cream. Um, if you have sensitive skin, just take note. This can actually irritate the skin a little. I realized that when I actually put it um, you know, under my eye area, my skin actually tend to peel a little. So, I'm not really a big fan of it. And then uh, I've got my Olay. This is the eye gel with cucumber extracts. It's actually a clear gel, and I'm not sure how it actually dehydrates by itself. Still figuring out. I've got my Olay Regeneris Total Effect. This is um, I can't actually see the words. This is seven in one anti-aging night cream. This is actually very thick consistency, but after you apply it, right, it actually gives the skin. A lot of um, moisture so it's actually pretty good I'm just gonna adjust the light um, next I actually got this uh, ZA deep hydrating gel you can actually use it as a mask if you want to um, I actually got this set of uh, body shop see how the label actually got all moldy I actually got this moisture white right from the body shop the set this is the whitening moisture serum I've got this, um, the softening essence, and as well as the toning essence. Right, so this is it. Actually, came in a set. I spent like close to two hundred on them. Not too sure why I actually did that, but I don't actually see any result. Um, next is my all-time favorite Shiseido White Listen Brightening Refining Softener in Light. Okay. I got my witch hazel zingy fresh toner just in case I have um upcoming acne you know I can actually use it to dry it out 
I've got this simple shine manager moisturizer. Okay, this one actually moisturizes, mattifies, and smooth. But I think I'm gonna actually chuck this out because I haven't been using them for a while. I've got my roll on deodorant from Rixona. This is the passion one. I think it can be chunk. Gone. So be it. Um, my L'Oreal White Perfect Night Cream. Okay, I think this actually irritates my skin a little, so I'm just gonna throw it. And it's actually good because whenever I do my you know cleaning ritual, I actually uh, retrieve items that I don't want anymore and just get them out of my sight. Next is the ROC. Dermatologic cream emollient. This is just a emollient cream for very dry and atopic skin. Because as you guys know, um, I actually got eczema, so it actually helps. And then I got this Nivea Total Age Repair Q10 24 hours whiten and firm anti perspirant deodorant. Okay, I've got another Olay White Radiance UV Whitening Cream. This actually irritates a bit. Because of the whitening um, ingredients inside, I actually got this uh, Neutrogena Advanced Solution Pore Refining Pale. This is um, more like um, professional pill treatments or softer, refined, and radiant skin. I haven't been using it for a while, but um, it actually stinks a little, but um, I suppose that it worked. But I'm not too sure. Okay, I've got this travel pack of Bio Essence, Bio Hydra Eye and Lip Dual Makeup Removal. Uh, I used to, I actually used up one, but this is actually the travel size one. I just keep just in case I need to travel and I can't actually, you know, bring my huge ass makeup removal with me. Uh, okay, I've got two of this um, Biore Cleansing Oil. It stays it instantly dissolves stubborn makeup even waterproof mascara. I'm not too sure how it actually goes because um when it comes to my eyes I'm pretty anal about it. So I will just uh, have to use I will always make sure that I use another cleansing wipe to actually wipe off the excess oil because my skin is sensitive and it kinda irritates me sometimes. I got three of this uh Bure makeup removal cleansing gel. Oil free soft gel gently dissolves makeup. I got three of those because I'm just very you know, scared that it might get discontinued or something. And I actually got this uh, white type of thing. I think it's charcoal pill, charcoal uh, mask to clean out the pores. I've got L'Oreal. New Revitaly Milky Foam Smooth and Revitalized Actually has got um, BHA and Glycerin Not too sure what exactly, what exactly it is Ole Total Effect 7 Cleansing Benefits in 1 This is actually the cream cleanser Cleans, soften and help fight signs of aging Suitable for all skin type Got another one, Neutrogena Pore Refining Cleanser. This will actually work together with the pearling solution that you saw just now. And this one actually has got AHA and BHA. If you are sensitive skin, I do not actually suggest that you use it on your own. Maybe you can actually check with your you know, dermatologist before you actually use any of those. Um, this is the Vitamin Gentle Face Wash. This is the one from Superdrug. I think I've bought it, but uh, I'm not too sure how come it's still in my cupboard. Alright, I'm gonna give it to my mate. I've got this uh, Garnier Skin Natures Oil Clear Eucalyptus Extract Purifying Oil Control Foam. Uh, I actually use it for travel because um, there was once I was away and I forgot to bring my cleanser along with me, so I actually got hold of this. So, this is what it is. Then the latest one that I have is this Hadalabo Perfect Sample Mouth Pearling HA plus BHA. This is the makeup remover plus facial wash. Next is this uh, Hadalabo Mouth Pearling Facial Wash. And I've got this Ghanaian Light Intensive Brightening Scrub Quick Leather and Quick Rinse for anti 
anti dullness action. This one I will actually use in conjunction with my whitening cream. Then I got another of this uh, L'Oreal White Relighting Whitening Facial Foam. It actually says uh, Melanin Block plus Vitamin C. I actually got it with my um, L'Oreal The Night Cream. This is the White Perfect one. It has got um, Tourmaline Gemstone in it, Milky Foam. And then when I actually have my acne or when I feel that my skin is very, you know, um, oily as extra I use this one this is a clean and clear deep action cleanser um, this one actually has got rice extract oil control so it claims that it actually controls oil up to eight hours but I don't think so and I got another random pen here some boxes of the lipstick that I've got and another one is this uh, body shop seaweed clarifying toner combination oily skin this has got a very nice smell but um, at times I actually sting the hair of me so you know it has got its goods and pros so basically this is what is in my first basket so I'm actually trying to reload them but um, I think I'll just remove the you know the boxes so that it doesn't carry too much space because I actually have got another haul coming up soon. Oops. And I actually got another random pen here. So I think this is the one I'm going to chuck it. And some boy is going to go as well. Right. So basically I will use, I'll put the one that I frequently use at the front. So that I know um, exactly what I'm using. And where are my stuff. So just be careful with all your... Okay, I'm gonna shift it here. All your, you know, facial cleansers, etc. Um, okay, my Hada Labo is gonna go in. These are all my makeup stock in case I don't have any. My makeup remover is gonna go towards the corner. Actually, what you know what you can do, you can just flip it over so you don't actually um, take up a lot of space. So you can just stuff this in front. Then chuck it over. Otherwise, I won't have enough space to actually keep all my stuff. And then my other logo is gonna come in front, so that I know I've got new products that I need to test out on. And then my plan, my oil, my fan curl, my toner is gonna go behind here. This I'm gonna keep it here so that I can give it to my boyfriend and then my cleanser, my clean and clear cleanser, my um lotion, my facial wash, everything is gonna go here. Alright, so this one I'm gonna put it here so that you know I can use in conjunction with the item. So I'm gonna just leave it here like this. My usually my creams I will just leave it in front like like what you see now. Everything is on top and I don't know how it's gonna fall. But uh, maybe I should just shift this to the back. Okay. So everything is here, everything is here. All the small tiny little pack I will just stop it in the front. This is gonna fall. And I'm actually gonna throw with this. I'm gonna keep this on there. Right. And then my pens here, just in case I need to write something. Oh, I actually forgot about this. This is the Clean and Clear Oil Free Deep Action Cleansing Mask. I use this like once a month. I'm not too sure. I haven't seen this for a long, long time. And then I actually got my sleeping pack. This is from Etude House. Um, this is for pore, white, pore tightening, so you can actually use this at night. And then my Happy Tea Time Green Tea Cleansing Foam. Um, I actually got this in aloe vera as well, which I already used, but I feel that it's a bit um, drying at times. So I'm not too sure how you are actually going to you know, think of it, but um, I think that it's a bit drying for me at times. So... I just leave it when I really feel very greasy and you know my face is very oily. I actually use that and then okay the pants is killing me. Right. Okay. 
okay so now I still have a spot there this is my Biore UV Perfect Mail SPF 50 plus I need to have this my Neutrogena Ultra Shell Dry Touch Sunblock in SPF 55 with Haloplex I use this when um, I used to go um, swimming last time like not swimming I can't swim actually but just to soak myself in the water etc so this is another one that I've got um, usually when I buy stuff I tend to like buy in tools so that in case I like the product you know, I still have it in case I don't like it then it's gonna get out go to someone else who actually love it more than I do and then okay just let me fix this uh, this is curling me this, you know, it's sometimes just so hard to readjust your items to make sure that everything is in place. Kind of sucks at times. So this is gonna go in there. This is gonna go in there. Okay, next is my um clear shampoo. This is a two-in-one anti. I'm not sure. Katumbi. Just wanna put it here, so that in case I'm going traveling, I'll just grab and go. And then I've got my um clear pack. This is the ice cold menthol one. Oh, oh, oh god, oh god, oh. Okay. It's gonna go in there. Yes, you got it. You got it. Alright, and then I keep myself some um cosmetic cotton buds. This is a 70 pieces one and it's individual pack. So it'll be good if let's say you want to, you know adjust your makeup or maybe because you make some mistake so keep it here this is handy just in case it's gonna go in here oh I actually forgot I have this uh, Clarissa Ultra Deep Pore Treatment Wash with bleed clearer skin in just three days I actually used to love this but um, it's a bit drying so I'm only gonna use it when my acne you know actually have breakouts I hope which I hope not All right, so it's gonna go in so this is the first box that's actually filled up with plenty and plenty and plenty of items and I need to actually um, look, put, relocate my bags that I got from Alta. Oops. So this is the first box I'll put some more things. Next, I actually got um, all my um, body care, my shampoos, um, scrubs, etc. And so, as you can see, I got two clear ice cream mentor. I got my Cetaphil, I got my um, Duma V moisturizing lotion for my eczema. It's actually quite thick and I'm not really sure why I actually got two of those. And it's super expensive. And um, this is the Ederma. This is the bar treatment thing. I think it's like oil bath or something. Not too sure. Just let me put this back and then I've got this Equira Moisturizing Cream. I've got my aloe vera gel which I use if let's say I get sunburn and my Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. Then my Copper Tone Oil Free Fitters Sunblock 30, SPF 30. I've got my cleansing foam in case I go out and I need to clean myself. This is the Nutra, the Nivea Moisture Boost Gel Cream. I've got um, another one. Okay, I've got this uh, Night Renewal one. Okay. And then I've got my Protosaris here, my um, Body Shop Honey and Oat Tree one, Scrub Mask, which I don't really enjoy now. I prefer my Protosaris more. So it's gonna stay here and then my um Edema, this is the I think this is the moisturizing this is the emolent the moisturizer so this is what it's gonna be and then I'm actually gonna put in my henna plus um this is the anti-aging each gel because I get I'm the one that always attracts the mosquito due to my body heat um then I've got my um, Body Shop Spa Wisdom. This is the short one. Okay. Next, I've got my Aloe Gel from Banana Boot. You know, I, I 
don't have much space to actually keep all my items because I've got too much of them. And they kind of suck sometimes. <laughs> and then I've got my Pepsodent wipe now. The um, toothpaste. This has actually got the blue foam, like the thing, whitening thing where after you actually brush your teeth, your teeth get all blue and black. This is the Pepsodent again. This is the center fresh. So all these are going to fit into this basket and let me just readjust the items so that you know, they have ample space. Just going to clean the side, let it air dry for a while. Okay, this next one is my love. This is actually my um, perfume rag. My perfume rag, and I actually got one very random show shoe spray here. Chuck it one side. And I got my anti septic hand sanitizer. Actually, I think I'm gonna throw that sanitizer, I don't really fancy it. Cooling after sunspray again because I used to actually um, go for tanning and etc. So I'm actually quite um, cautioned with the sunburn because I don't really enjoy it. I actually got this for a friend but I'm not too sure why I didn't actually give it to her. This is the, the vitamin E bath firming massage cream because she had a surgery recently. So I think most likely I'm not going to pass it to her. Yeah. And then I've got my sample of um, this Clarence Generation 6 Double Serum for extra firming. Then comes to the favorite part. Uh, I used to collect random perfume that I think that they are nice but they don't actually last very long. So I'll just use it as a room spray or you know, um, just some room spray or toilet spray or whatever spray that I can actually make use of. This is the I Love You EDP, 80% volume, 3.4 fluid ounces. Has a heart shaped thing, very pretty. Then my Britney Spears Midnight Fantasy. I love this this perfume so much because you know it actually has got that mm, very fruity, seductive scent, and I just love it. And my boyfriend actually got it for me when. Um, it was my birthday last year, and I absolutely oh shit! I absolutely dug, dig for the packaging. And if you guys know, I'm a sucker for lavender, and lavender is in purple. So this is how it actually looks like. Very pretty. Oh god, the smell! Just love it so much, and I still have it in the boxes because I don't want to ruin the perfume. And then I um, actually got this um, Isis woman from Mark and Spencer. I haven't actually opened up, it's still sealed and I might give this away to someone. This actually says that um, sparkling aromas of the sea are combined with flor flowers of violet, rose and lily or the valley with cedar wood adding that to this fresh but feminine fragrance alcohol free for delicate skin maybe I'm gonna use it, I'm not too sure oops oops. I actually love my um, what's this, Victoria's Secret Romantic Wish Silkening Body Splash I love this next um, is my SC UK perfume the whole one and um, I kinda hate this packaging because this thing came off so not worth the money at all. I've got my Adidas um fruity rhythm. When I go to the gym, I actually use that. And then the one in um ED EDT toilet. Then I've got this one that is um actually focus tropical fusion, tropical fusion the small one. Oh, I can't tell you how much I love this. This is from the Body Shop Moroccan Rose. I love this. Look at the amount. The little left is so little left, and I just can't bear to use it. And I'm not sure why. I've got this attractive, Femi cheap perfume. And I, it kind of reminds me of a. I'm not too sure, Dior. 
Is it Dior packaging? Uh, not too sure, but I got it some time back when I was still in school. So, I got another one that looks like Eiffel Tower. This is the Eiffel Tower Paris. Very nice, you know, container but cheap boxes again. Cheap perfume. I got this, uh, the mermaid one, the baby spray or something. I love this. I love, love, love this. Body Shop. Why did you even discontinue Oceanus? This is a, um, how should I say? A a like, you know, bisexual? Hmm, no, that is not the word to use. It's actually, um, for, you can be used for both female and male. You know, I got it and I just can't bear to use it. Oh god, it's just so nice, but Body Shop just discontinued them. And got another one. This is the Mean Ever. Got this in one of the sales. Next is my Cosé Happy Birthday Rose, Sensual Rose, Precious Rose Miss Cologne. Got one of that, but it actually spilled, so I just chucked it. And I'm gonna get this Burberry Body. This is a sample pack that I got. Very nice. I love. Can you see how gorgeous is the actual bottle gonna look like? Oh god. I'm waiting to get this when I'm traveling overseas so I can get it a duty free. So basically, that's my um my perfume, my scentsy. So this is how the box actually looks like. So I'm just gonna start packing them back into the order that I actually use them for. I hate this FC UK one because it just keeps falling down as extra and it's kind of irritating at times. My Britney Spears is gonna go in there, what else? My Moken, my toilet spray, my spray. I think this, I'm gonna actually give it to my mate. My spray. Then my Victoria's Secret, my some cheaper perfume, my cheaper perfume, and I think basically that's all. Yeah, this is how my collection, or maybe I should like just shift everything back so that you know I can make use of the space. I can just make use of the of the extra space that I have to actually put in my um, hair product so that it doesn't need to be in another box. I was gonna go in the see sometimes it's gonna be so irritating, huh? So my sample is gonna go in there. I think I'm gonna chuck this piece of shit. I'm actually gonna place my outer free bag here because it has a fragrance inside as well, so it's gonna go in there. Um, next box, I should oh, I got another H Define Q10 Plus cream, so go back to the correct box. I've got this very cute Midnight Christmas After Midnight, Midnight or something. I forgot what's the title, Christmas something the skull looking tag so it's gonna go in here because I need to tag it to my luggage got this uh, Pantene hair mask okay I think I'm gonna shift um, the fragrance item from my hair over this is the Beauty Labo Color Hair Ho You this is just a spray um, deep moisturize with almond nut essence leave on moisturizer then I have my sexy girl salon straight um, spray. You should actually spray it before you want to straight them. And then this um, beauty label. I'm not too sure what is this. I think it's just a hair oil with scent. And then my make me happy fragrance hairspray from Can Make. I used to have all this kind of funny funny stuff in my. You know, for my hair and I don't know why I just don't use it. The Pantene hair mask that I just showed you. 
another pantene one this is the have a control conditioner just in case i don't have my conditioner with me then i've got this uh, l'oreal perfect slim dick relief anti fan thick and clean cryo gel <laughs> right so that's it and I've got my Pantene conditioner again. I've got two of those. Um, now I hardly want to use conditioner because I feel that my hair is very greasy. I think that's the words to use. Greasy and um, kind of irritates me at times. Because it's like, why is my hair also greasy and I need to wash it like every other day. And I can't like, you know, not wash it for a couple of, um, say about two days i think the next day it will be boom bye bye you need to wash your hair you know the kind of crap that you have and then i've got this uh lucidio this is the wavy one soft shivery wave i thought that i could actually salvage my hair with this crap here but it didn't then this is the lucidio shiny shapely curl this is the um, protector i think pre cold water I'm not too sure what it actually does for my hair cause I hardly use my curling tools now then I've got this Lucido um, hair foam wavy mousse I'm not actually a mousse person but I might actually use it again if I decided not to actually straighten my hair and this is the hairspray smooth coat just a spray thing then I got my essence treatment. I've got my shampoo. I love it. It's just so soft. Then I've got my camera box. This is the Panasonic FS6 Lumix. I've got a random gift inside here, which I don't intend to open it up. I've got my Kingston 8GB SD card for my camera. And um, oh, why is this there here? My previous Nokia box. So basically, this is what is in my um color tree um basket. Oh, I missed that one. This is the sexy girl night repair oil essence. So this is um what I have, and I'm actually gonna do the update for the makeup soon. So just stay tuned and remember to subscribe to me. Um. Also, I hope you enjoy my videos. Look at my mess. My God. <laughs> Alright, so see you guys soon. Bye-bye.